I beat him with the f is wrong with you? Black History Month. The f I am Django Unchained. B <laughs> so fabulous <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl Dumevilia. if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back how are we all doing today so as you guys saw in the title yes that is what we're going to be talking about today i never thought a day would come where we're making a video like this a raid to the cyst pickup line used by a palm colored woman on one of our very handsome black brothers <laughs> let me play the video right now side eye side eye <clears throat> <clears throat> the caucasity of it all the audacity of the caucasity she had the audacity to go and drop that comment in the year 2023 on tiktok where every other person can see <laughs> so you guys could see in that video the comment up there was the comment that the white lady made and it was a comment made on one of that guy's previous videos so he just highlighted that comment and made that video as a reply to it so yeah because i'm sure he must have been shocked and stunned and he didn't look he didn't look flattered <laughs> let me play some of the reactions and you know stitches to that video Bye -bye. girl i know you f lying not a single damn day on this earth but definitely not in black history month Be Bye. And this is the exact reason why there is nothing nobody can say in this entire world that will ever make me not love black women, bro. Because you don't have to deal with no shit like that with no black women, bro. Like, what type of Mandingo, Django Unchained shit is that, bro? Like, what the f***, bro? Like, did y'all really, like, did y'all read that? Like, did y'all read that shit, bro? Like, that shit is f crazy, bro. This is the exact reason why I will only talk to black women. Because I will never have to worry about if i'm somebody's fetish or not i would never have to worry about oh if i go visit somebody's family am i gonna come up missing bro i ain't gotta worry about no f shit like that bro like man, hell no nah, bro hell no nah. y'all can say whatever the i want to say about black women on this app but that shit ain't gonna ever change my mind bro question how are you so down bad that you end up further south and further into the past at the same goddamn time you are just so handsome if it were the 1800s, I'd buy you to save you. Why would you say, why? Why? You are just so handsome. That's all you had to say. You didn't have to say nothing else. What is this? And, and sweetheart, I, I don't think he would want you to buy him anyway. In the 1800s, a lot of y'all didn't bathe. So, I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think the fields would be a lot better than being stuck in a room with you somewhere. Like, why would you? What is what is wrong with y'all? You know what? I've had many a spicy conversation with my best friend where we will talk about things that we would like to do to someone or things that we would like to have done to us by certain individuals. We've had those conversations. We're human. We have needs, wants, desires. But let me tell you something we ain't never thought to say. And if it was the 1800s, I'd buy that person. Keep them safe, you know? That has never come to our brains to say. And do you know why? Because we're not real. And cheers to that, am I right? But that person who typed that with their full chest? Oh, man. Uh, 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 uh. Race the day is long. As the day is long, you have a blessed night. I'm personally just posting this one for my brothers that love to glorify white women as if they're so much better than black women. But then you fail to realize that most of these bitches only fetishize you just look at that comment what about that comment was supposed to attract a black man to her use race as a joke 
and said, I look so good that if this was slavery time, you'd buy me as a slave. And then I wonder why I'll never not be with a black woman. Boy, you don't deal with stupid shit like that from black women. Yeah, she may talk a little shit, but she'll never call you a slave and say she'll buy you. This comment is crazy from the stitch. And I say that because, you know, the context was not the same. But when I was in middle school, I was actually in sixth grade or fifth grade. I think I was in fifth grade, actually. This girl in my classroom, you know, I went to an all predominantly white school. And this girl in my classroom literally told me that if this was the 1800s you would be my slave and as a fifth grader going home and telling that to my parents they were pissed and the school did nothing i was so hurt i will never ever forget it ever just when you think you've seen it all in this app it outdoes itself and can you imagine being that stupid that you actually thought that that was going to be classed as a compliment. Side eye. Here we are on the sixth day of black history. And we still see comments like that. Coming from a white woman. And she said, I eat quote, if this was the 1800s, I will buy you and save you. In the two years I've been on this app, I've seen white women tokenize their biracial children and tokenize their black boyfriends and husbands to prove they're not racist. I've seen some white women create pages fetishing over black men. Even one content creator going so far to use a DV filter saying that she deserved it and had hashtag black men y'all know who she is fetishing over black men goes back to slavery when the slave masters would get the strongest black male slave buy him and have him breed with the female black slave so they can breed more slaves to sell or to keep. This is where the term tell slavery comes from. And if old Missy Ann won her summon egg, she would seduce that black slave. And then lie and said that that black slave f***ed her. And of course the slave master would believe it and have him or murder. And we all know what happened in Tulsa and Rosewood where the white woman lies on the black man. Stop fetishing. It's not a good look for you. Peace. Why? Like, you could have just said the first half and it would have been fine. But no! If this was the 1800s, what, what, what y'all be thinking? The levels of disrespect in that comment. The levels of disrespect in that comment. There's a lot of people, myself included, who have always tried to picture ourselves as enslaved people. And even though we understand that the system was not built for us to be the Django's of the world, some of us would still try to be the Django's of the world. Somebody getting shot in the chest. Like the way you die, boy. Because you're not about to say that shit to me and me not respond negatively 
there's gonna be some mother misunderstandings. All the furniture is getting ready to get moved. All of it. And when it's done, slow singing, flower bringing. I don't even call it tone deaf anymore. Because it's not. It's not about being tone deaf. Motherfuckers know and just don't give a That's what it is. They know and they just don't care. <laughs> You guys, I literally have no words. I have no words. You know, I used to feel like a lot of the palm colored people are somehow, you know, like those existing now in this present day will be somehow, you know, maybe they would have taken accountability of what their people did all those centuries ago to black people and, you know, have some form of remorse for it. But when I see comments like that, and believe me, I've been seeing a lot of things these days that make me realize that some people really have no remorse or regret for what happened. As a matter of fact, they, they wish they were born in that era where they could own slaves, where they could own black people as slaves. And you see the woman that made that comment, she's definitely one of those people. I don't even know if I'd say that comment is as a result of the fetishization of black males. Or if I just say it's just plain old admiration, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section. But one thing I definitely know is if you see something good, if you see something good and you appreciate it, why do you have to make reference to such dark times, slavery, at a point where human beings were owned as property and oppressed and treated as animals? Why do you have to reference that era to express your admiration? Some people really, really wish they could still own black people as slaves. That's just what this comment proves to me. And it's sad. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. She should be ashamed of herself. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please drop your comment. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, turn on notifications so that YouTube lets you guys know whenever I have a new video up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.